Well, good, good morning to everybody. This is Robin from Roaming with Rover, and we are gonna do a little unboxing today. And then if it doesn't get too busy here on the rig, then we'll talk about a few other things. It's already been a busy day. I've been in and out and it is cold and it is windy and it is dirty and dusty like always. So um, let's get down to it. So today's unboxing is an order that I got from Hirschner's and I did get it a few weeks ago, but I've been saving to show it to you guys. This particular order, um, there was a sale on their kits. I do like buying their kits because then you get everything you need all in one, uh, all in one order. And I get to try some different yarns that maybe I wouldn't necessarily try or, um, you know, you're just trying some new things. So when you get a kit, it typically comes with the pattern and all the yarn you need to make the item. And that usually works out fine. The last two kits I have had, um, the one of them, I had one little ball of yarn left over, so it was perfect. And the other one, I was supposed to make two items and I needed all of the yarn to make one of the items. That is a problem. Um, if you happen to knit big like I do uh, you may not have enough yarn and sometimes with these kits you can't get extra yarn um, typically the ones from Hirschner's that I buy it's not a problem if you need a little bit more yarn so this day when I put in this order um, they had they were having a sale on their kits and then I got a coupon for 40% off any one item and that was on top of the sale price and then I'm a member of their, I don't know, mul multiple customer, whatever they call it, their customer appreciation thing. I'm a member of that. And so I get an extra 10% off everything, whether it's on sale, whether I've got other coupons, that 10% comes right off there. That was a really good deal. It was $20, it's good for a year. And um, you got 10% off your whole order and you got free shipping. And I think I made back that 20 bucks on my first order. And so I have really um, gotten good use out of that one. So what did we get in this? The first thing that we got was this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, blanket, Afghan. I like the bright colors in this and I think I was drawn to this because it's so dreary and dingy and dirty here. Um, I normally would not pick something that was made out of these colors, but I was really drawn to it. So in this particular, and this is the other thing I like, their kits always come in these plastic uh, zippered bags, which is so nice with all the dust here. So nice. So this particular kit, comes with the their two ply afghan yarn I've not used this before and let me tell you it is so so very soft I'm really surprised at how nice it is 100% acrylic 220 yards uh, machine wash dry flat made in China mm, not thrilled about that but it's nice it is very so oh it's very very soft scarfable as uh, bag of day would say um, really nice against the skin this is going to be very cozy to work up so you get this gray and there's a white and this green which I would never ever ever pick and it's called leaf but it's really really pretty and this pink which they are calling guava okay I would call it pink but you know they got to come up with cute names So anyway, you've got this great pattern and it's basically a filet crochet. So that's how you get the little designs in there. And if you haven't tried filet crochet, you ought to give it a try. It's really just double crochets and chains. That's all there is to it. Look what they put in with it. This is so cute. It's a label, handmade by label and then uh, you can sew that on your project. I wouldn't sew it onto a an afghan, but that's a cruel. That's a really, really nice little thing that they added to it. So we got that and this was on sale for 
$20, $19.99. Plus I got the 10% off of that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And, oh, I also got these, they're so cute. Look at these socks with the knitting and the yarn. So cute, I love aqua, I love aqua. So the socks, I paid a little bit too much for those probably. They were $7.99 plus, you know, just about a dollar off on that. So cute. Love, love, love those. I like the novelty socks I always have. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, heart table topper. It is going to be, oh, it's crocheted out of thread. And I like I like making doilies and things, so that doesn't scare me at all. Isn't that funny? The the two weight thread on this was more concerning for me than the this thread. It's their size 10 crochet thread, and that's the size I like to use when I'm using crochet thread. 100% mercerized cotton, so it'll feel real nice. Machine wash, lay fat to, flat to dry. Um, 230 yards in the little ball. This is your basic what we think of as grandma doily thread and it came with three balls of the ivory color oh that's funny it doesn't even have a color name on here but this is the basic ivory color and then one ball of a multicolor. nope no color name at all it's got uh browns and blues and more of that ivory can you see the colors there I think that's going to be real pretty worked up. It's a She's got the hearts in the middle. I'm a sucker for hearts. I love hearts. Anything with hearts in it, I'm there. Give me the hearts. Um, it's going to be if the instructions are good. Wow, I'm not sure what design. I'm not sure what stitch is on that heart. It's very solid. It's not what I was thinking. And uh, what I was looking for is how big this is going to be when it's finished. Let's see if I can find that real quick without giving out any. 23 inches in diameter. So it's going to be a pretty good size. Two feet almost. Uses a size 7 steel crochet hook. Okay, but again, nice small project for in the motorhome. I always have to think about that when I'm, when I'm getting stuff. Okay, and that heart table topper was $13, $12.99. That's a good deal. I thought there was one more in here. One, two, three. No, guess not. Okay, so this was the big one. This was the expensive one, and it surprises me that it was as expensive as it was. But this is the boardwalk shawl, and when it's done, it's going to be 24 inches wide and 64 inches long. This was $35, which normally I would not pay that much for something like this, for a basic shawl. It's so pretty. Um, but I used my 40% off coupon and my additional... 10% uh, off of that. So $17.50, half off, that I can do. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at the design on that. It really, really caught my eye. Again, colors that I probably normally would not have chosen. <laughs> and this color is called Jadeite. Jadeite. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, heavier than, oh, this is the Soho. Oh, the Soho cotton. I have one, been wanting to try this. Pretty excited about that. 100% uh, cotton. It's, hmm. It feels better than like uh, the peaches and cream type kitchen cotton. It's a little bit, it's definitely smaller than that. It says it's a four, but boy, having worked with the peaches and cream a lot, um, I would say this is closer to a three. 
and it is 207 yards machine wash lay flat to dry that's hard to do with a big old shawl but we will do it 100% cotton so it might shrink up hmm, interesting interesting choice for a shawl but anyway we got so the Soho cotton the Soho is supposed to be a real good uh, brand of yarn a real good kind of yarn and we got six balls and then the instructions just one page of instructions and you use a size H five millimeter crochet hook so we'll see we'll see how this goes um, again another smallish project to work on here in the motorhome that's important so that's my little yarn haul from Hershner's. Like I said, um, I did get this in a few weeks ago, so this does not go against my yarn freeze for this month or for this year. Um, we'll set those aside and work on those after we get through the stuff that we've got already in line. I wanted to show you my earrings today. Let's see, if, there we go. The Route 66. Route 66 earrings. Uh, when we started our traveling in the motorhome, one of the things that I found out very quickly is you don't have space for souvenirs. And we're traveling all over the country. So you wanted to get some souvenirs. Well, I quickly figured out I could get earrings. Earrings from every place we go, everywhere you go, they've got earrings. Um, and sometimes uh, really special earrings, like, 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 we went to Washington DC during the Cherry Blossom Festival. We just happened to hit that. Um, and I was able to pick up some beautiful Cherry Blossom earrings from one of the national park places. And so I love giving, helping the national parks by giving them some money. And in fact, these came from one of the national parks in Arizona. So, um, I love being able to help them out by and also getting something that I really enjoy. Earrings are small and I've got a box about this big and I probably have a hundred pairs of earrings in it. So um, the one thing out here is I have not been wearing my earrings and I really, really like them. So I'm going to make an effort to wear my earrings again um, every day and I just go through my box and pick the next, next one out and then I can show you some of my fun, fun earrings that I've picked up along the way. We're still doing good, not getting vehicles, so I can still keep talking. I tried this earlier. This is like my fourth try because I just kept getting overrun with vehicles and the noise from the sensors were horrible. You guys not would not have been happy. So my, my grandma cup that I got for Christmas from my grandkids. Okay, what am I working on? You guys, this has turned into such, such a mess. All right, I wanted to show you my um, my yarn thing. I got this for Christmas. You put the yarn on here and then you just pull this and the yarn comes undone. So I'm not fighting with the center pull. Um, the yarn was getting tangled up underneath this plate thing. So I saw online, somebody suggested putting a paper plate underneath there. Works great now. So as you know, I'm trying to relearn how to knit and I know the basic knit purl stitches. I had to look up online how to cast on because I can never remember. And this is the Ross hat. Very simple, <laughs> very simple pattern. You can get it online for free. Just look up Ross, R-O-S-S -S -S hat. And it comes in all different weights of yarn. So whatever you want to work with is great. I used some of my yarn that was left over from my temperature blanket. I thought it'd be a good way to get some of that used up and practice my knitting. As you can see, some of my ribbing, where is it? I've got some spots where it looks good. <laughs> looks pretty okay there, which is just knit purl, knit purl. And then somewhere along the line, I got messed up with my purls and my knits. And I'm not sure what this mess is. I don't know. I don't think I dropped a stitch because it's not running but it's all stretched out in that spot. Okay, so whatever, I got past the 
the ribbing and then I was just gonna do uh, four inches of just straight knitting and I mean how can you mess that up right just it looks pretty okay the stitches look pretty even I like that and then I went to measure it and I picked it up and somehow my straight niche turned into straight pearl and so apparently what I did was I'm supposed to be knitting like this with the outside of the hat towards me and I picked it up like this and so I was knitting with the inside of the hat towards me which completely flips your stitches around you can see the real pretty knit stitches on the inside and the pearl on the outside what are you gonna do um, if it was a project that I cared a lot about I would rip it out and fix it but I do not this is a practice project it is full of mistakes from one end to the other uh, I'm just considering it that I'm practicing my stitches and I'm still gonna wear this thing let me tell you I am still gonna wear this ugly horrible mistake ridden hat I'm just about to the point where I'm going to start doing decreases, which I don't know how to do. So if that's something I'm going to be learning. And then I will be using the dreaded double point needles and I will be making the crown something else. I also don't know how to do. So this is the perfect practice project. It's small enough to um, actually get it finished, but it is, has enough different aspects to it to still be a good learning, learning tool. I can't believe I did it. And I did it for several rows. Three, three, four rows. <laughs> this thing is gonna be so bad. But it's gonna be warm and it's gonna get ruined anyway out here with all the dirt and the dust and the muck, so whatever. It's a design feature, right? The needles are wonderful to work for. Uh, my daughter got me these for Christmas. Chiogu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they are wonderful to work for, very, very comfortable. I can't knit for very long, my hands hurt. Um, I knit tight, even though I'm knitting, knitting looser now, this finger keeps catching and popping. It's almost like I get some trigger finger going on, so I'm concerned about that. But, so I can only knit for about half an hour at a time. So it's a wonder that I have enough time to make so many mistakes on this thing. Um, when I crochet, I can crochet for two or three hours without any problem whatsoever. So this is definitely uh, something I have to take into account when I decide to do another knitting project, which I am going to do. I'm going to knit a blanket. I am. I'm going to knit a blanket and I'm going to learn lots and lots of things. But first I'm going <laughs> to figure out how to keep track. Um, yeah. When I'm knitting on straight needles, I can never remember which side I'm knitting from. So for me, circular needles are a little easier, but obviously not a lot easier. I can't believe I did that. I'm just glad this isn't something important or for somebody else, because I don't care. So that's kind of it. Um, we're gonna be moving here in a few days, so it's gonna get super, super busy on the rig. And I can't think of anything else to talk about right this minute. So I guess we're going to call it good. Um, going to post this probably today and then come back and see me on Tuesday for Robin's Ramblings. I'll give you an update of what's going on. And then on Friday, we have Finish It Friday where I pull a whip out of the pile and work on that. And let me tell you, last week I pulled out my temperature blanket and I had a bazillion ends I needed to weave in and I really got far with that. So I think this Finish It Friday is gonna be a great, great thing for me. Um, probably gonna be starting, my one grandson called me last night and asked me to make him a hat. Um, I made the girls hats and the boys didn't want them. So then the girls got their hats and now the boys want them. So that's great, I always love it when they ask me for something. And then my other grandson uh, had asked for a sweater and you saw that yarn came in. So I'm probably gonna start that today uh, for my in between, because the knitting, like I said, I can't knit for very long. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see how far I get. And I'll give you an update on Tuesday for Robin's Ramblings. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye.